All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. And who I reverence and honours to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. And I want to say to Wadi Yahabai Sham Yahabashai for allowing me to minister unto the elect. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. We're going to flow with the spirit. There's a lot I want to speak about. I don't know how long, how long this will go on for this lesson because I need to free up some data. But Lord willing, I'll be able to get through this. We're going to start off on, and it's going to be a variety of topics. Start at Proverbs 6. Proverbs 6, Proverbs 7. Let's go to Proverbs 6 and 12, Baba Kesha. So it says, a naughty person, a naughty person is always up to something, always up to some wickedness, always up to mischief. We were once naughty in the world, <laughs> okay, before we wake up, before we woke up to the truth, we were doing naughty things, alright? But when you wake up to this truth, that has to be put away. A naughty person, a wicked man. Walk with, with a froward mouth. So if you're naughty, if you're a wicked man, you're going to walk with a froward mouth. And the scriptures tell us, Yahweh tells us in Matthew, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So most of the time, 90% of the time, what you're speaking, right? if it's wickedness that's coming out, that's because that's the intent of what's on your mind and what's in your heart. Okay? A walketh with a froward mouth. A froward mouth is a perverse mouth, a corrupt mouth, which equates to a wicked mind and a corrupt mind. Verse 13 He that winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet. Right? And these are things that witches, warlocks, masons do as well. Not just masons, it's what wicked people do. That's their sign of, um, remember they have signs that they do, particular thing, gestures. Hand gestures. He speaketh with his feet, right? And he teacheth with his fingers. Because what? That sleight of hand. Magicians do that as well, right? A lot of the newscasters do that as well, all right? Because it's called a sleight of hand, which is basically witchcraft. He teaches with his fingers. Verse 14. It's getting cold out here as well, brothers. Wrap up. Verse 14. Frowardness is in his heart. Right? Wickedness. He devises mischief continually. So, yes, you have people like that in this world that they can't sleep unless they've done some wicked, unless they do some evil. It says continually they're devising mischief. He soweth discord. Right, and no brother should be sowing discord amongst any other brother. You shouldn't be doing that. Right, and I've always said, Yahweh said, if there's a problem, you go to that brother. If he doesn't hear you, you bring it before two or three more witnesses that every word may be established. He soweth discord amongst brethren, trying to split up the brethren. Right, and yes, you have agent provocateurs that were sent into this truth to do that. Right, because they don't believe themselves or they see something good's going on. And also Esau is he sets up agents to do that as well. That's why you have the thing as the wheat and the tares. Wherefore shall his calamity come suddenly? So when you see men getting judged, because yeah, you can be judged righteously and you can be judged 
by doing wickedly. When you see certain things happening, don't wonder why. The scripture says it shall come suddenly. And I've always said the Lord doesn't need to, um, you're in this truth, the Lord doesn't need to kill you. He could just strip the Holy Spirit from you. <laughs> That's all he needs to do. Suddenly she, she shall be, he shall be broken without remedy, right? Without healing. And that's why this word is here, that's why his prophets are here, to warn you, amend your ways. And no, we're not perfect, but the elect, they, were, they would have me, amended their ways with Yahweh Shai. That's the difference, right? Suddenly he shall be broken without remedy. So those that want to continue doing mischief, don't want to get right, yeah, they're going to be broken without remedy, without that healing. We're not in a time of playing games. We're not in a time for messing around. You might have done that in, what's it, all right, 2007 or whatever. Things have changed. We're at the end, you see what's going on with Ukraine. You see what's going on with Russia, right? With Putin. You see what's going on with the gas prices. Verse 16, these things, these six things that the Lord Jehovah Shai hate. Yeah, seven. So there's six, but incomplete, what, seven? So it tells you what Yahweh Yahweh Shai hate. So these things that we read, we want to stay far as clear away from these attributes as, poss as possible. We check the time. And it says, a proud look. Someone that has a proud, pompous look. I've always said this, you could be confident, but I know for me, my confidence, it lies in Yahweh Shai. Right? That's where my confidence is. It's not in this world, or the stock of this world, neither the things in this world. The Lord hates a proud look. And you can see, you can look at someone and see if they're, you can, you can look at someone and see if they're proud. A proud look, a lying tongue. Right? A lying tongue, someone, all right, proud look, a lying tongue, someone that's always lying, always, that can't tell the truth. A lying tongue, that's two. And hands that shed innocent blood, this, that's the third. And you've got a lot of murderers, right? Got a lot of murderers, and for you to murder your brother, it doesn't mean physically. You can murder your brother by lying to him. By deceiving him, by having ill will, right? Okay. And it said there's a lot of agents out here today, but it is what it is, right? And hands that shed innocent blood. That's the way of Cain, right? That's the spirit of Cain, right? What did Cain do to his brother Abel? He murdered him because what Abel's right works were righteous. And Cain's works are wicked, right? That's why he done that. And you got brothers in the truth, they're the same way. The scriptures talk about being your brother's keeper. So if you see your brother going off, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to warn him of what, where he's going wrong and correct it according to the scriptures. And what did Cain say? Am I my brother's keeper? Yeah, you are your brother's keeper. Because <laughs> your brother is a reflection of you. Right, morning. Your brother is a reflection of you. So whatever your brother does, if you see your brother going off, you're supposed to correct him and say, no, look, oh, that's wrong. And correct it straight away. Because if you don't do that, guess what? You're setting the stumbling block before your brother, where he may fall, right? And you don't want to do that. Set a stumbling block for your brother. You see him going off, you warn him straight away. You don't leave it for two years, three years, right? You leave it for two or three years. Oh, but I saw him doing this, I saw him doing that. Well, did you warn him? Did you warn him? And this is what you got going in the truth. And I can speak from experience because I've had this happen to me firsthand. With brothers, they may watch you go off, watch you slip here. I'm talking about years and years. This is when I was outside of, outside of a camp, listening and learning. Yeah, brothers that would giggle, laugh, try to take your place. Now look at them now. And they're still in the same spirit. They're still in that prideful spirit. Haven't you learned? 
haven't you there's a time where we have to learn we have to grow oh man and heart that devises wicked imaginations right wicked imaginations always always conjuring up in your head how you could how you can make an x-man slip that's a wicked spirit and what i've realized in this truth most people they're miserable so they when they see someone happy they don't like that it's a very um pessimistic narcissistic world we're living in be happy be happy that you know the truth happy is he that has the power of jacob as he yeah i'm paraphrasing in psalms be happy that you have this truth but remain humble help brothers serve them we wasn't here to just serve ourselves nasa nasa we were here to get this truth and teach others the way you have a shy cleaned you up clean me up all right now you now you use this word to clean others up <laughs> you see this is how it works and that's how you spread that legacy of righteousness not not by having that what's it the crab in a bucket mentality go and let the scriptures come out and feet that be swift to running into mischief quick have it is <laughs> you, you may have your parents telling you clean this up do this do the lawn do that jake won't do that read a book jake won't want to read no book <laughs> But when it comes to um, doing some wickedness, uh, we got to move. Or doing some wickedness to your own brother, they're forced. They're forced to that. Right? Or when it comes to a particular scam, they're forced to do that. But when it comes to doing good, our people, most, they can't do it. This truth has really, 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 really opened up my eyes to how this world is. It's a wicked world. I didn't realise how wicked this world was. But within this wicked world, you have righteous men that were going to amend their ways. Verse 19, and a false witness is the seventh. And you got a lot of false witnesses. Remember, Yahweh Shai, how we, who was he crucified by? Israelites, our own people. Right? A false witness that speaketh lies. Always making up something. Always looking for an issue. That's a sign of someone that's insecure. And he that soweth discord among brethren. Right? And again, there may be particular things that we bring to the forefront. You may warn brothers and say, look, this, got, this is going on with a camp. That's going on. That's not sowing discord. You're sowing discord when... You're not sure about a matter, but you're just going with the with, what's it, the majority. You don't like a brother, so because you don't like him, you're trying to get another brother to hate him. This is the type of thing you got going on within the truth. All right, and we can't be that way. We can't be seeking for vain glory. Right? Go to Philippians, Baba Kasha, Baba. Kasha. Hold on, just a minute. It's Philippians and. James, let's go to James, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And Proverbs 13 and 10. I'm just flying with this bit, I haven't got nothing written down. More sacrifice, more sacrifice, more sacrifice. Bear with me just a minute, Baba Kasha. There's so much things I'm thinking about. Let's go to James, Baba Kasha. Let's get James, let's get James. Where was it, where was it, where was it, where is it? Hebrews, Jude and James. Bear me just a minute. It's like I've got pages missing. We go back to that. You know what I've even found out? It's more highways and byways. We're commanded to do that. I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on the highways and byways right now, by the way. Right? The streams of cars going past and there's a lane. Right? 
But I've realised there's it's more to it than that. Because Yahweh has said, many shall say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in our name? There's more to it than that. All right, one thing going on the highways and byways, you have to live this truth. Live it. Yahweh has to be in you. You have to be in him. There's so much more. Because you got men, yeah, you got men that go out in the highways and byways. But guess what? They don't know how to treat their brother. Right? Check this out. Bear me just a minute. So this James, we're going to go to James 3 and 13. Who is as a wise man? Let me check up the time as well. Yep, still got time. Who is as a wise man endured with knowledge among you? You're wise, right? Let him show it out of a good conversation. So most of our conversations are supposed to be good, somewhat good, concerning Yahshua, concerning the kingdom, right? Even though, yes, there's bad news for the wicked, our conversation is what? Pure. Nine times out of ten, it's, it's pure, right? His works with meekness and wisdom. So we also do this in meekness. I have, I have, with much response, with much wisdom, is much responsibility. Much responsibility. And it's, it's my duty. Yahweh has done, oh man, Yahweh has done great, 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 great things for me, not just me, for other brothers as well. So it's my duty. I'd be doing myself a disservice if I didn't teach this word. Yahweh, he got me out of the pit. He got me out of that low, 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 low place. I mean, I was in a low place. You wouldn't even realize I was in a low place. No hope. This truth has gave me hope. Yahweh has given me hope. Come on now. So we got to do that. Show it out of meekness. We didn't get this truth so we can boast. Right? So we could be boasting. Okay? Speaking down on brothers. I know this now, you don't know this. No, it's our duty for to understand this truth and teach others. But if you have bitter envying, envying comes from someone being bitter. And bitterness is not good. Well, bitterness is good concerning bitter herbs because as Ezekiel said it was in my mouth sweet as honey. <laughs> then it became bitter, right? So you, bitter, bitter, bitter is good for you And bitter is the harsh reality Of this truth And a lot of men they can't take the bitter Right they, they, They're comfortable with certain things And other things they just leave out You've got to accept the whole truth And a lot of this truth is bitter Even when I first came And there were things I was hearing Very very bitter Very bitter But if you can get past that Then you're on the right path Right, bitter envy, and you have men, they're just bitter. They look for a reason to be bitter. But you've got to balance out that bitterness with what, some sweetness, the goodness of the scriptures. Right? If you're always bringing out news articles, we know the news is very, um, it can be negative, but you balance it through what? Bringing out Yahweh Shai. You've got to be balanced within this truth. But if you have bitter envy and a strife in your hearts, so it's this strife in your hearts, in your minds, because these things come from the mind. These are the things that defile you. Glory not, so you have no place to glory because you still have these things within you. A lie not against the truth. Don't lie against the truth. You can't say you're in the truth, but you have bitter envying and you have all this, what, mass contention. And where does that come from? Proverbs 13 and 10. Only by pride cometh contention. So what does that show? If this is going on within a camp, that means, well, someone is prideful. Could be one, could be two. But that's where it comes from. From what? Wanting to prove yourself and have competition among you and show, oh, well, this is what I know. You know, listen, listen, listen to this. Then when you examine these men and you ask them a simple question, what do they believe? 
or they're rooted, or you bring out a particular scripture. Example, a scripture, Deuteronomy, where is it, 28? If if she if, if a wife is not brothed into a man, thou sh thou shall take her, and you know people get offended, and now oh, she's too young, and this. When you bring up these topics, you see men they change, right? So again, a lot of it is down to pride, and if you can't accept the tr accept the truth for what it is, and you're a hater of truth, it's because you have an element of pride. All that has to go. All of it, right? Excuse me, just a minute. Oh man, only about pride comes contention, but with the word advised is wisdom. So, if you're word advised in these scriptures, guess what? You're gonna have what wisdom to match that with the word advised is wisdom. So, with wisdom, if you truly have wisdom. You're not going to be exuding high levels amount of pride and it happens to all of us because i'd be lying if it says it that doesn't happen to me it does happen right but then it has to be checked that's why the scriptures examine ourselves whether that be in the faith lest lest that be reprobate so it's always a thing of what self examination always okay going back to james baba kasha this is James 13 and 14 15 It says this wisdom descendeth not from above It doesn't descend From Yahabashai It does not descend from the Heavenly Father But it's earthly Scripture says it, it's earthly It's of a lower, lower nature It's of a carnal nature Right Sensual but it says, but it is earthly and sensual. Sensual is of the world. Some of the sensual is, I guess, some of the sensual is very emotional as well. They don't lean on the scriptures, they lean on the emotions. That's some of the sensual. Right? They lean on feelings. How they feel at that moment. Devilish. And that's when you start getting, when you're devilish, what happens? Mischief. A forward heart. That's called being devilish. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. And that's why you have so much confusion within a lot of these camps. Not all, but a lot of them. Because everybody within that camp, they're trying to compete against each other. When you're supposed to be working with each other. And that's how you get that tight unit. But if you're envying each other, what's going to happen? Huh? You're going to have nothing but squabbling. Cause that, and again, that's the spirit of the world. Look, look at all these, um, these office buildings and just the world itself. People in competition. People have to step on each other to, to get in this position. And that's the way of the world. That's why it's sensual. It's, it's devilish. It's not of the Holy Spirit. And everything in this truth, to the point I've got to, I've never needed to step on anyone, anyone, bad mind anyone, to get to this point where, I, where I'm at now. Never needed to do that. Right? I had to study. I had to go through experiences. Never blamed anyone else when I was catching hell. And Lord, when I don't, I've always took responsibility. For what I do even when I go off I've never said oh it's because of him finding out only a few only a few men really really have character we're going to shut off soon as well only a few men have character all right so where was we Baba Kashar we was on verse 17 but the wisdom that is from above is first pure 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 intent, pure mind. That's what Yahweh is looking at, right? Ren peaceable, pure mind. You're peaceable, because that's what we. Sh that's what you should be striving for, peace. And you got Esau at, the, at this moment in time. He's trying to destroy us, but he can't. You can't do that, because we have peace in Yahweh Once you have peace in Yahweh it doesn't matter how much noise campaigns. 
Esau does, you still have peace because you're centered upon your Hawasha, you're centered upon that rock. Okay. Easy to be entreated, easy to talk to. You don't want to be that individual where you're so ignorant, right? Anyone that walks past you, right? You're in that spirit of, oh, get away from me. You dirty, dirty dog. Edomite. Well, how do you know this, this is not an Israelite that looks like an Edomite that's walking past, that may be of the elect? Just, just walk in past to see what you're doing because guess what you catch a lot of eyes you catch a lot of uh, attention when you're teaching this word people are curious <laughs> what you're doing right now, not everybody that will not everybody that walks past you is an agent people are curious okay so again easy to be entreated easy to talk to right and people can pick up on that right See, men want spiritual... See, there's levels men want... If you want spiritual power, the first step to that is self-restraint, right? Yes, discipline and discretion. Knowing how to deal with people. You want to be a prophet. A prophet has to communicate. Talk. You have, you have to talk. You can't be stuck in a box. I'm stuck in this little box. I'm stuck in this little area. You know, I don't want to communicate. Get out you something get out of yourself. This is about your habashai, not about you. And you might wonder why you why you can't grow. You have to communicate. Right? And how do we communicate? Yes, by these electronic epistles, but also by speaking to people. Some people want to talk. <laughs> So easy to be entreated, easy to talk to. And that's part of having um, a so-called good name as well. Easy to talk to, because now, if someone comes up to you and you're like, oh, get away from me, I know that, well, what's, what's your report against them? And when people do speak, even though we don't care what the world says, their experience with you may be, well, this guy was ignorant, he just said, get away, I couldn't even speak to him. No, see, you want to have balance. Scriptures be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And that's how we're supposed to be. Wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Treading carefully. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And full of mercy. A lot of men are not full of mercy. C certain videos I've been certain videos I've been watching. Right? And these same men will expect mercy from Yahabashai. It says full of mercy. Right? So we want to be full of that. The same way we want to be shown mercy, we gotta do the same. And guess what? Guess what? It doesn't mean it doesn't mean you're um you're a doormat. You gotta apply again balance. Example, if a guy is saying that the Bible's rubbish, you know, and constantly saying that I don't want to do I don't want to do with the Bible. If someone's constantly, constantly saying that I don't want to deal with the Bible, I don't want to hear that, then you deal with them accordingly and say, well, all right, this ain't for you. I see <laughs> you're going to have to come back, right? You're going to have to come back on the other side. You're going to have to be destroyed on this side and come back on the other side, right? But you're still full of mercy and balance, right? And of good fruits, good works, without partiality, right? You, you, you're not extolling this man and that man, right? You're not doing that, right? Full of mercy, without partiality, okay? So you're not partial, I know this man, I know that man. Let everything be done without partiality. Because what does that bring in respect of persons? And without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is in soul in peace. Of them that make peace. And that's it. The soul in peace of them that make peace. Alright. So if you're doing that. What's going to happen? 
you gotta have the same. See, it's all spiritual. Every man's reaping what they've sowed. So it's, it's coming all right back round now. So the men that were being wicked and being deceitful and treating brothers a certain way, that's coming back to you. And the brothers that have been what reaping righteousness and been striving, even though they've been falling, that's what they're reaping. Right? Check the time. So you know what? We're going to shut off here and until the next time, Lord willing, this is edifying.